it's not tricky. Run DMC is the most influential rap group in the history of music. The new docuseries, Kings from Queens, the Run DMC story, chronicles the legends and the genre they established. And it all started in Hollis, Queens. Take a look. I never rocked a mic in public. I don't want to do this in front of nobody. But it's easy for me to do because I had thousands of hours in my basement alone. This is a straight-A student with glasses who was into comic books and would look like Preach from Cooley High. But D actually had all the skills in my mind to get whatever I needed done. This is my partner in crime. Or better yet, my partner in rhyme. Ah! <laughs> and Daryl DMC McDaniels has walked this way to tell us more. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to be in the place to be. DMC in the place to be. This is the I place to be. It. This is the place to yes, be. We're going to use that in some kind of promo for this cool. show. Thank you for doing yeah. that. Now, listen, I'm, I, I loved watching this last night because I was a big fan of Run DMC, but I learned a lot watching this, too. But, like, yeah. you know, what would that straight-A student of you as a child growing up say to himself about, like, what was in store for you? I had no idea. Everything that we did was inconceivable. It, was, it wasn't even it wasn't a thought. It wasn't a thing. Right, it wasn't a thing, you know. Um, the beauty of it was it allowed this little geeky, nerdy, shy kid who went to Catholic school, who got straight A's, who wore glasses, who got teased, bullied, and picked on to grow up and be enthusiastic about he is. Yes. So the bullies, what they say, don't mean nothing. It's something, I mean, it's cliche. There's beautiful music inside of all of us. Yeah. And Hip hop, when it came over the bridge from the Bronx, allowed my rock and roll dreams to come true. I love <laughs> that. It was really kind of inspiring to watch, you know, how you guys started from mm -hmm. where you started from mm -hmm. and built this whole new genre out of nothing. But, you know, in this, you go back to your childhood town, your mm -hmm. childhood home. College, Queens, your New York. Yep. I mean, what was it like going back to that and kind of experiencing it's, it's, your childhood? It's again? very weird because. When I watched this documentary, it's not me looking at all my accomplishments. Um, before Jam Master Jay passed away, rest in peace, Jay, Run used to always say to us, you know what? Everybody got the experience to run DMC phenomenon except us. So when I watched this True. documentary, it's not me looking back and, you know, glorifying myself. It's me experiencing what everybody experienced it, experience with Run DMC. Yeah. When you look at the documentary, you got everybody from Ice-T. Yeah to Chuck D, a public enemy, and everybody in between, yeah. MC Light, Eminem, Jermaine Dupri, and they're talking about what happened to him. But the beautiful thing that I want to say is, um, Run DMC, everything that we did, it wasn't just about us. It was yeah. about all of us. Yeah. Everybody who brought a record came to show. And more importantly, we knew we had a responsibility when we stepped on that stage and grabbed that mic yeah. to live up to the expectations of the real pioneers who created hip hop. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, Cold Crush Four, Treacherous Three, Jazzy Five MCs, Fantastic Five, Crash Crew, Funky Four Plus One, Busy B Stark C. So we knew we had a responsibility yeah. to represent this culture in the right way. Yeah, because they're also like, why are they getting so much attention? Well, <laughs> the reason why is because of our attitude. I know, it's you so know, positive. Hip hop is about keeping it real. Yeah, and we, yeah. We made positivity. Ice T said, DMC and Run and Jay made positivity gangster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, they all talk about in this film the impact that you guys had. But, you know, mm -hmm. you talk about that nerdy kid that you were, but you had a rhyme book when you were a kid, right? Mm -hmm. You still had It was this... just for me. It was like my diary. Yeah, and that was something, obviously, that was in you since you were little. Do you yes. still have that book? No, I don't. I don't even write the rhymes. I'm writing no. so much. I don't, I'm, I'm like Jay-Z and Biggie. I don't even write them down anymore. But when So I, they're just up here? Yeah. When I first started out, I wanted to be a DJ. Yeah. When hip-hop came into Queens, everybody wanted to be Grandmaster Flash and Grand Wizard Theodore. So I was a DJ at first, and then I heard um, this record called Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five super rapping. Yeah. And like you said, I was in the superheroes. Yeah. So I was like, super rapping, superheroes, what this is about. And when I put the needle on that record and I heard Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, I was like, give yeah. me a pen. Yeah. Give me a pen. I got to write these rhymes. What but, would Peter Parker do? Exactly. Wait. What would Peter Parker do? What, what, what would Bruce Banner do? Yeah. So it was all about having, having the ability to, no matter what your struggle is, yeah. whatever adversity is, because all superheroes, man, they went through some traumatic sure, stuff absolutely. in their real lives, but they still rise up and become the superheroes. You know what I love watching in this is, you know, everyone's listening to you guys and everyone's impacted by you, but what I was fascinated that you got stuck on Sarah McLaughlin for so oh, long and oh, that well. she was such a musical influence for you because uh -huh. she kind of music has power and it took you out of this exactly, maybe negative exactly, space. Yeah. What are you listening to now? What inspires you now? 
Aerosmith, Aerosmith ACDC, oh. um, Queen, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, love rock, I, I love what they call classic rock. Me too. And I love folk rock. Interesting. Because when I was growing up on the, the radio stations here in the, in the late 60s and 70s, they were playing artists like Harry Chapin, Joni yeah, Mitchell, yeah, Jim yeah. Kirchie. So it was storytelling. Yeah. So what happened to me, I heard rock and roll. I was brought up on soul through my mother and father. Hip hop comes over the bridge. So all I had to do was take my imagination that I was yeah. getting from the comic books. So when you saw me on stage, my old man at Catholic school kid, Daryl <laughs> McDaniels, yeah. Daryl McDaniels transforms into the mighty king of rock. Yes! And you're <laughs> Learn more about that on this docu series. <laughs> Gang from Queens, the Run DMC story premieres on Peacock Thursday, February 1st. It's fascinating. I loved it. Thank you Thank so you. much for coming. Thank you. I, I just, I learned a lot. Hopefully, you all do too.